Hey guys, it's Cobra, and today I'll be bringing you to some SG4. Yes, um, the new MCSG V2. I swear, MCSG V2 is so, so, so laggy. I just, it's just ridiculous. I just can't record a commentary without me, like, slamming it wholeheartedly. So right now I'm doing a post -com. It's like the first time I'm ever doing a first post -com. And I think the only time I ever do a post -com is right now, MCSG V2. It's really, really pretty crap. To be honest, it's like I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just the AU servers, but right now the AU servers are lagging so so bad. I I have just no words to describe how bad. I mean, if you can see how long later I take the fall damage, you just know how laggy it is. Like it's ridiculous. I say if they don't fix it, I don't see a reason to play it for now because it's really really bad. I know it's just the beta stage, but Oh, anyway, by the way, guys, they changed this chest here to a tier 2, so it's really worth coming to this house now. Um, so Yeah, um, it's really not worth playing because it's really pissing me off. It's like, I die to random shit all the freaking time. Oh yeah, the I'm teamed with Young Wolfie this game. <laughs> he died later on. Okay, um, so yeah, on to the good things. I, I, I don't really want to talk about the bad thing of, about MCSG V2 right now because... I could go on for days of how the lag's bad because, to be honest, the only bad thing I know that's really good about this one is not good. That's really hurting MCSG right now. It's the lag, for at least for the AU servers. I heard the US servers is pretty good. Uh, yeah. Other than that, it's just basically the lag and some tier two they removed. I I know it's to balance it out, but I just don't agree with some of them. But that's not really the main point. Oh yeah, well I destroyed these two kids here. Trying to fist, it, fist people. I hate those people. Oh yeah, the, there's some good things that um they added that I'm just trying to focus on because I think the lag will go away eventually. But right now it's just horrible. I'm just saying that it's really unplayable. I it all it's all over my Skype. Everyone's just saying how bad it is. But yeah, once this lag goes away, I hope we can just focus on the good things. Like the first and most obvious change that we all notice is on the bottom left, as you can see, like the main admin thingy. The I find it really cool. I find this really informative and I just like it. That's one really good thing I like. It's like look at it, blue color thing. There's only one thing I don't really like is like you see when the tribute when people the spectators join the game, their names are green as well now. So it's like I can't really differentiate who left the if like the um, survivor left, you know, when you when he, when a survivor used to leave, it'd be like green name. So like you kind of know that who's who, but right now everyone's like green, so it's hard to differentiate. But other than that, I kind of like it. It's really nice, and I and there's also um the two minute lobbies. They've changed the lobby timer to like two minutes, which is quite quite nice if I do say so myself. I hate waiting for lobbies for five minutes. It's so annoying, and since lobby fills up pretty fast nowadays, I think yeah it was a good move on their part to switch the lobby timing. And also, um, they changed the overall timing to deathmatch for the games now. So right now, I have no idea how long it takes to go to deathmatch. If somebody knows, just leave it in the comment, because I can't be bothered to find out. As it's quite weird nowadays. And, oh yeah, they added some cool stuff. I heard this, like, Solar Frost has so many tier 2s now, and I don't know, it's just maps seem different. I, I played a game on Fortress Spike, like, just now. I only played like five or six games and I see four people with diamond swords. So it's like Fortress Spike used to be like the ultimate tier one first. I don't know. Maybe I should just find out more about that map first. But yeah, I yeah, there's a lot of chess changes. I need to figure them out. But yeah, right now I'm just really confused. <laughs> um also what the most best 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 update. No, okay, no, no, that's not the best. Second best update, alright? Second best update of MCG V2, Flynn is Flynn and Steel. They added it so that you could use it in deathmatch. And absolutely love it. Or you can you do, do if you can see the lag right there, he just teleported away. The amount of that lag bags I'm getting nowadays is so off so much. So much you just you will never know. And so you can if you, you just watch me try and kill this guy, it's like the lag is so evident. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. one more thing. About the lag before I move on to another topic. Um, just watch when I kill this guy. Just watch when I kill him. The game freezes for a second, 
and the lightning comes in and it happens every time I kill someone. So annoying. It's I, oh this guy tries to hit me with his bow. <laughs> what an idiot. You never get any anyway, son. Uh, but yeah, it's just really weird. It's just it's stop the game literally stops for a second and lightning comes down. It's so laggy, I don't like that. They should probably fix that. So if Chad or DG you ever watching this, probably probably not. Fix that. <laughs> but oh yeah, the back to what I was saying. Flint and steel in deathmatch is so awesome. It's like it just adds a new element to deathmatch nowadays. It's like it used to be like bow sword, bow sword, and now it's like I don't know. Flint and steel just makes it so different. It's like this, and the thing about deathmatch is like there is no water, so it's like. I don't know, it's, it's, you can't really regen, so technically, I, I expect to see, like, people on fire, f like, non-stop, next time I play deathmatch, I mean, next time I get a deathmatch, and people get used to this, because, I can't understand why they didn't put Phoenix 2 last time, it's really OP, but, I don't know, I kind of like it, and I kind of just like it at the same time, because, I don't know, I love, like, lighting people on fire, but I don't like getting light, lit on fire, <laughs> So, I don't know, I've, I've recently have been, I've just, I only played like, I don't know, not, not too many games, let's say, less than 10, I would just say about 5, but, and, I literally, every time I win a deathmatch, I lit people on fire, so, I don't know, I, I played, I played a deathmatch with my, my, my friend, then Wolfie, the other time, and we basically, our, our strategies were the same, we just trying to light the guy on fire, and then, bow him, or maybe just hit him, it's just like, finish too fast. So right now, I just gotta be careful if you wanna go ahead and fight someone in deathmatch, I guess. Oh yeah, and later I'll sh later I'll explain to you what the last and best improve. Okay, I'll just do it right now. Um, they added this wonderful feature. I think this is this glorious feature. I love it so so much. It, and that is and that is basically, they're moving. They have this system now in in deathmatch, as the deathmatch goes like. Like winds down, the minutes winds down. Um, it can't the the deathmatch arena gets smaller, so it's like, um, at first it's like you know when let's say the breeze island. Um, let me just give you that. It's like the at first it's um, the full circle is around like all the bridges and everything, and then as the time runs down, it slowly becomes smaller. So when that way, it's like you can't run as far. You get what I mean? It's like. So I have you ever played like those games where people keep running away in deathmatch and you can't catch them? Because generally it's a circle you can't catch them, you know. You can't really run. If they run a big circle and you just can't take a shortcut and cut them off, and then they, they just escape that deathmatch and you don't get the win and they don't get the win, now they can't do that anymore. It's basically, once as the time runs down, they have to fight, which is really, really cool, which I love it so much. You'll see it in this game, this guy is Yami. He was being a bitch. I it, I was getting pissed in the the live commentary, and that was the reason why I didn't try to post the live commentary. I got so pissed at that match. It's like I could see him running and running and running, and I'm like, fuck's sake. <laughs> and yeah, okay. Um, oh, yeah, they added one more thing. Like right before that match starts, they added this thing where there's ten seconds to allow the players to load the match. I think it's stupid. As you can see, what this guy does, he spawns in holding an arrow at a guy, which is. I don't think it's fair to be honest, but technically it is. Yeah, right. Right here in deathmatch, I I I I killed this guy. Look, I light him on fire. It's so easy. There he goes. He's dead. And oh yeah, it's so powerful, Flint and Steel guys. If you get the chance, use it. Always use Flint and Steel in deathmatch. As as long as you light the guy on fire, you can run. But right here, I test out the kick. As you can see, kick work. Kick does work now in deathmatch. There we go. Easy. Um. Uh, it's, okay, as you can see, right, you're just gonna watch me just get. I wish you, I wish you get a live commentary, but I don't want to. I swear the amount of curse words I use. <sighs> this guy, look at that baby, look at him. He's being cunt, straight up cunt. And I swear, and I tried chasing him. I tried to take the fast way up, and I failed so hard. Just look at this. I should just cut that out. And look at him, he just. And this is what I mean, guys. He can just keep running in circles, and you'll never be able to catch him. In, as you can see, they're right, they're two minutes to deathmatch, so slowly, you start seeing that the arena g gets smaller, as in, like, it doesn't get smaller, literally, but, like, the area you can run in becomes smaller, because, 
like if you if you don't run, if you run it like outside the arena you get lightning yeah it's the same thing right here i tried to stop him by, like by lighting the lighting that side on fire so he can't run but i didn't need to in the end you what you'll see right here um the lightning start hitting you like let's watch hold on it's coming it's coming don't make me eat my words please yeah <laughs> right here like, i lit the other side on fire ah, here we go you see lightning starts hitting us and there we go boom it start and this guy being a cunt, he continues running. I have no idea why. Look at that. It says please return to spawn, which is really really awesome. I love this feature so much. Or you or like dicks like him, they just keep running and I did delay deathmatch. I don't know why would they do that, but you know people are cunts. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope you enjoy it and just try and join PSGV too. <laughs> cool, going. I'm out.